everyone. Uh, now I'm going to demonstrate the other type of paint. This is more the studio acrylics. It's thicker paint and what you need is a thinner pouring medium. So this is the new formula of the uh, thinner pouring medium from Vallejo. Now what we need is some pretty colors. You can choose them, you know, anything you like. Um, you mix it with you put the paint in the cup, you add 40% of this pouring medium, and then you mix it together. You get a nice and smooth consistency, and then you add a little bit of water so that it pours off the stick like warm honey. It should be a nice and continuous stream. This time, again, we're going to do the, uh, the pour in one go. So we're going to put the colors on top of each other, like that. A little bit of dark brown, some really pretty turquoise, which I'm going to drop straight through. The higher you hold your paint when you're going to pour it in, the more it will disrupt those layers of color. And then you'll get sort of a nice end nice smooth consistency what you also can do is just do like this one time put your stir stick through now these colors all have two drops of Vallejo silicone oil and that's it so there's nothing more to do only paint pouring medium a little bit of water and silicone now we're going to release it And we're going to tilt a little bit, tilt it back, and I'm going to torch it straight away. As you can see already, the cells are popping up. And these are some beautiful cells. These are really pretty. Now, the thing is that when you torch like this, then you still can tilt to make them even bigger. As you can see, a lot of cells, they just explode. And now we're going to tilt to make sure that all our canvas is covered. Well, canvas, <laughs> it's, a, it's a gesso board from uh, Ampersand, yes. So we're going to pull it down this way. Make sure it comes down all the way. That's it. Now it's fully covered. As you can see, these are beautiful veins that are laying on top. Not really lacing, but more veins because they're really thin. Here is a little bit of color. There's a little bit of color. And that's our masterpiece. Very quickly done. And there's no mixing of pouring mediums with this uh, new pouring medium from Vallejo. All you have to do is add 40% pouring medium to the paint you have in your cup. So if you have um, more or less, doesn't matter. All you do, 40% pouring medium, very easy. You don't have to, um, you know, do all kinds of math. That's just it. Then you make it smooth, add a little bit of water that comes off your stick like honey, add silicone and you're ready to go. So you can't make it any easier than that. What you do have to do is after a couple of minutes, just torch again to make sure you're getting rid of all those little air bubbles that's it if you want to avoid them all together all you have to do is uh, let the pa paint stand for about an hour and they will be gone too so right now I'm going to put this one away because I do want to show you the cell power of this mixture and I know that a lot of people are into uh, making jewelry. And if you do jewelry, what you need is paper that doesn't go wavy when it's wet. So all you have to do is add paint, like I'm doing now, a couple of nice colors. Then what you need is a palette knife. You take it, you swipe it like that. Very thin, as you can see. And then you take your torch and we start burning. 
torching. And that's the cells you get. I'll do a real close up so you can see them up close. There you go. That's how easy it is. I'll do one more with a, a little bit of different color. So first you take all the colors you like. Doesn't really matter. Look, at, it's not, you know, total rocket science or anything. You just put it on how you want to put it on. Put some on here, little color there. Then you take your palette knife. What you also can do, just push it all up and pull it all down like that. And then you get a whole different, different sort of uh, coloring. And then you sort of warm it up. That makes the silicone come to the top and creates all the little cells. That's another one. As you can see, I have a lot of drop off on the table. Now, a lot of people say that's a waste. So what you can do is just scoop it up like this, put it on your art paper, pull it down like that. Give it another torch. And you have something that you can cut up and use on greeting cards, anything you like. See, these are uh, now you have the cells are just a little bit smaller. But also, this is beautiful to make some really nice uh, greeting cards. You know, you can use a punch and punch out nice shapes and put them on some cardboard and it will be a fantastic gift to give away. So I'm going to keep it short. This was it. I hope you enjoyed the new pouring medium by Vallejo. I certainly do. So.